What's up, everybody? How you doing? That's right. It's time for some love advice from Mark Lobliner. That's right. Not only do I break it down in the training, not only do I break it down about nutrition and supplementation, but I know what you ladies like. And that's why I have my shirt off. You can't tell, but I have no clothes on. I'm buck-ass naked up in this bitch. Anyway, here we go. This comes from my boy. I'm going I'm to keep, I'm going to change his name all up. I got his name right here. His name is Obi. Like Obi Trice. You know what I mean? Obi Trice. Sing along while the DJ throws it on. I don't even know. And wake up. Hoping that she got some teeth. Anyway, here we go. I'm a big fan of your videos and side out. Throw in a question and see what you come up with. This issue a lot of guys probably deal with poorly, including myself and probably me. And that is how do you respectfully tell your girlfriend, wife, partner, or whatever floats your boat that she needs to eat better and lose weight. Tough one. Tough one. In the past, I've noticed my girlfriend ordering eating something sloppy or unhealthy. And I've hinted at maybe ordering something else, and I've also flat out said, don't order that. It's not healthy. Which didn't go well overall. No, I don't think it would. The problem is, no matter how gently I hit, if I hit her over the head with a bunch of broccoli, she pushes back, gets offended, and we fight. The only thing that really boggles my mind is she wants to lose weight, but yet when I try and help her, she fights with me. We've had several nasty fights about this, but over the past year, she had dropped from 160 to 140. So my assholeness has worked a bit, according to her, but it's also stressed and damaged our relationship. 160 wasn't that big, bro. I mean, that's, that's thick. Brothers like them. Thick. Sorry. The reason why I'm so hung up about this is because I'm invested in her and I love her, but also want a possible future wife that is healthy and watches her figure. Looks do matter. I agree. Men and women both are guilty of this, but women can be more sensitive when you bring it up. I just don't want to be stuck in a marriage or relationship and not feel attracted to the person. I agree. Am I completely wrong here? What can I do to encourage healthy eating and habits in my girlfriend so we can live healthy and sexy life together? I've noticed her lapsing back into old habits, but I'm afraid now to say anything or she won't have sex with me for weeks. <laughs> What's up, playa? When you get a chance to respond, just use my first name, which I changed, Obi Trice, and keep this one on the DL. LOL. Don't worry, brother. I got your back. Bros before hoes. Peace out, brother. Anyway, here we go. Check it. I'm going to be up real with you. I suck at this. My wife asked me if her ass look, if, 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 you know, these jeans make her ass look fat. I say, no, your ass makes your ass look fat. You know, that's my problem. I'm deadly honest. But my wife has been with me many, many years. And um, she really doesn't give a fuck. I mean, she's just completely given up on my lack of tact. But you know what? I do help people with this. And the reason I do that to my wife is I don't have to um, play any games. Because, you know, she doesn't really ask. She really knows when she needs to dial it in or when she's getting out of control, which she doesn't. I mean, she's had three kids. She has had two kids. She has one on the way. I give her plenty of leeway. And honestly, there's only room for one vain motherfucker in this house, and that's me. And frankly, when my wife was dialed, let me put it this way. There is a, it, to have her be healthy, eat healthy, live a long life for your kids, that's great. I do understand myself. I like a woman to not be in, in competition shape. I like a little cushion for the pushing. But at the end of the day, I want her to be healthy, fit, and be able to play with our kids and do all that. And, you know, I want to be able to get my arms around her. You know, that's a good thing. I mean, we all like to smack the ass and watch it jiggle afterwards, but we want it to stop after about five seconds of doing the wave. You know what I mean? And when I throw a quarter, I want that shit to bounce off on the ass. I don't want it to get stuck in the folds. I don't want to have to dip a woman in flour and look for the wet spot in order to know where to put my penis. You know, so here's my opinion, bro. I think you need to be a little more subtle. I think you need to offer things like to cook for her, offer her sound advice, make her a nice, healthy dinner, show her that there's ways. Go to the gym with her. I think one of the main relationship building you know, things my wife and I had was going to the gym together and um, and really enjoying it. I mean, you know, I don't get all kissed. If my wife kissed me in the gym. I smacked her in the face. Done. Now I'm going to be called a woman beater. I'm going to get upset because I'm in the zone. I'm training. But I'll tell you what, man. Um, you come back from the gym and, and you're, you're worked up and your hormones are going wild. And, and I mean, you know, it does add to some sexual flair in, in the bedroom. 
So I think that maybe um, not just looking at what she eats, but then incorporate the entire lifestyle. Maybe go on a walk together, go on bike rides together. Um, you know, do some things like that. Compliment her when you does some good. One thing I've learned from being a father is that one, I'm not very good at it. And two, that positive reinforcement goes a lot further than negative reinforcement. So instead of stabbing her in the throat every time she eats something that isn't up to par with what you feel is right, say, hey, look, baby, you know, that's a good choice right there. When she gets the whole wheat sub from Subway or something, you know, just minor things, just encourage her along. And, you know, I think the health aspect is the best way to go at this. Say, hey, look, I want to be with you forever. I love you, and I think you're great. And I really like motorboating your titties like this. <laughs> okay? Look, I really want to be with you forever. And for you to live a long life is imperative. It's important to me. So I need you to eat healthy and take care of yourself so we can live a long, healthy life. And we could die together. That was sweet, wasn't it? I had to throw in the motorboating thing. Who doesn't like motorboating? Anyway, that's really it. Um, if you need any... <laughs> I'm sorry if my advice sucked. My opinion is, dude, accept her for what she is and encourage her, but don't ruin your relationship over your vanity and don't impose your vanity on others. Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Peace out.